Well, it looks like the decision on Roundup Ready alfalfa has been made as of a few days ago, and uh, many of our growers in uh, western states and California are interested in the technology. Uh, I'd say even the majority of our growers are probably interested in the technology. Uh, and uh, we're particularly interested in making sure that the industry is able to uh, uh, protect those growers that do not wish to uh, grow Roundup Ready alfalfa either and might be affected by either gene flow or other kinds of effects of their neighbors. And so uh, we're particularly, myself as part of the University of California, is very interested in making sure that organic growers can continue to produce organic hay that export growers are con con going to continue to grow export hay um, for the foreseeable future. That is, making sure that they have uh, uh, seed that is not contaminated with the, the product and that the hay itself is not contaminated with the product. And I believe that their tools are there currently to make sure that that happens. Um, yeah, but it also depends on the behavior of the industry, so we're hoping certainly that the industry will step forward. The other issue that was brought forward in this uh, lawsuit was the issue of Roundup resistant weeds. And that is an issue for any situation where the same herbicide is used over and over again. And we've seen this with cotton and corn. And we certainly want to see a situation with alfalfa that we do not allow the um, weed shifts or weed resistance uh, to occur in the case of alfalfa. Uh, that we need to put forward strategies, both cultural uh, strategies and herbicide mixtures and other kinds of strategies that prevent the uh, advent of Roundup resistant weeds in alfalfa production systems. So those are the, some of the key issues that come into play um, with the uh, issue of uh, Roundup Ready alfalfa. And the other one, of course, is whether economically it makes any sense for a grower, even if you don't have uh, the issues of gene flow and, and Roundup resistant weeds. Um, you know, there we have other weed control methods that are available and uh, many farmers are successful with those weed control methods and uh, will not be interested in the trade. So uh, I think uh, now it is up to the growers to, to choose uh, uh, the technology that they think is the best for their farm. Most of our western uh, growers plant in the late summer or fall um, in, in California and I think other western states as well. We'll have some string, spring planting this year in uh, 2011 uh, with uh, Roundup Ready uh, alfalfa or conventional varieties depending upon whether, what other options those farmers have going. But by far the vast majority of our plantings are in the fall and we recommend by the way uh, a September to October planting in most parts of California it seems to be the optimum time for good stand establishment uh, for, uh, for this crop.